Hello everybody, Shifty again with another Backpack Bounce Run and we're gonna be doing a rank mode today and we're not gonna go with badges, although we just Harold into a wolf badge right away, but no, we're gonna try to do a, a Falcon Blade build. So we're gonna go banana, of course, we will need energy, might as well buy this, might as well buy this and uh, not torch. Burning Coal is a yes, roll him away. They changed how you get those emblems, by the way. You have three times the 10% chance instead of one 25% chance at the beginning. And now the build. We want to find two wooden swords, four whetstones, four gloves of haste. So if we get the two falcon blades. And then I want to get two goobirds and two chili peppers to create the build, which is the chili pepper build. It's the chili goobert build with falcon blades. That's the idea as to what I want to generate. Because I have never done that. It's a double weapon build with a banana. We should guaranteed lose here. They even have a wooden buckler over us. We, we should super duper lose. This is, this should not be winnable. Let's see. Let's see. If I mean, if he blocks, then obviously we're going to lose. And we miss even. Can they miss? I guess they cannot miss. Fatigue's kicking in now. And at this point, they have outscaled us. I mean, I told you we're not going to win this. Uh, fatigue, nope. We lost. Fair enough. We should not have won that anyway. And uh, let's get a burning coal. So now we might win fights similar to those. Let's also get a good old flame. Another banana would be a good idea. Actually, let's go with another banana. Let's roll. For, I think it's the flame too. Let's get the flame too. And let's roll. And upon a woodstone and a wooden sword. So, and it coal. I want to buy all three of these. I would say we sell two flames to buy the wooden... The, the whetstone right this moment. So that I can get my hero sword going. And then we're going to buy these two next turn. I should not stick that much to flames. I should not be like, oh, flames are the most important thing in the game. No, no, they are definitely not. And uh, here I'm going to get my hero sword already. Uh, I think damage-wise we're good. 3 to 5 damage is good early game. It's a race here. It's a race. We have double banana healing us, but they have poison out stripping us. Nice. We won. Easy enough. And we found a leaf badge at the third turn. So that would be crit chance. Hmm, this is decent, but I'm not sure if I care about any ranger item, right? Like, if we go like this, and we take away these ones, because you can't find them. Acorn color is the one thing that matters, and then Lucky Clover is the other thing. The bows are not that what I want, and also the short bow is specifically a common item, so I will start finding common items early, and that's gonna throw off my whetstone finding. I don't think I'm gonna go with the leaf badge. I don't think so. Although it's going to give us free wins through the luck system. Now we're going to stick to the plan. And the plan says definitely don't go into that. Let's go with not torch. I want to get... Not torch, man. I want to get burning coal. And burning sword is also not a no. Okay, burning coal, perfect. We're going to get inventory space, I would say. Although we are losing the chances to get comments right now. But the whoop, almost made a mistake there. I would like you to be here and you here. Burning coal still. And let's go on now. Let's see how this can go. I don't think I want to go. Yeah, I don't I want to go. I want to go into range. I want to go in clean clean pyro. Clean pyro. This is a spikes build, which should completely counter us, of course. Uh, we will definitely need the obsidian gem to get rid of spikes. Because spikes is going to be the one killer we're going to have issues with. For, from the start to the end of the game. On the chili pepper, which is part of the build, so I'm gonna buy it. Although we definitely take away time of finding whetstones, and we need to find whetstones. Uh, I'm not even gonna buy flame for what's nice. This is definitely take, and this is also take. Very nice. We got another coal, and uh, let's go. This is going decent now. I need only one more whetstone, and then four gloves of haste. The four gloves of haste are gonna slowly start coming in. I also definitely need the anti-spikes, man. We're losing fights here against spikes for no reason whatsoever. I mean, the reason is that the anti-spikes is an epic item, of course. So it's not no reason whatsoever. It's a very valid reason. Uh, actually, we should be winning this, as I have three healing items. Chili Peppers heals us and two bananas heal us, while they have uh, two bananas only. Very nice. We got our win. And Whetstone bot. Let's go. And also fun attack speed. I would say yes on the attack speed. Roll them into an Archie Pepper and Gloves of Haste. Very nice, very nice. This is going very decent. I would say this is the main damage weapon. As this does 2 to 4 damage and this does 1 to 3. Um, they have the same attack speed and the same miss hit chance. But this gives plus 2 damage to the around things. So this gets more damage out of that. So we want this on the attack speed zone. And the other thing on the attack speed zone should be some kind of banana or something. So let's definitely do a, like a mini reorganize here. Uh, perfect. And uh, we're going to obviously buy these two next turn and let's go on. I think two bananas are going to be enough for my mana issues. I don't think we're going to have that much of mana issues. And I mean, at the end of the day, we're going to be a two weapon build. So two bananas should be enough to maintain a two weapon build. Uh, we are losing this, but we once again have healing. They also have healing. It's almost a race. It's almost a race. 
which we have the same amount of life. They have a shield in them over us, and the shield is over always winning against double weapon fights. Yeah. The shield made the main difference. But it's okay. Nice. And we're gonna buy chili pepper and the gloves. And we don't have inventory room. Roll them. Fun inventory room. I'm gonna say we sell three flames to buy the inventory. I shouldn't really be so much stuck on keeping flames around. You go here. You go here. And uh, attack speed, I would say, goes on the wooden sword. So it should be something like that. Yeah, reorganize time. Perfect. Yep, I like it. Let's go. I need uh, one more whetstone and uh, three more gloves of haste. And I need them fast. Also, I need a gooberit pretty fast, too. Uh, this here is a little bit of everything, but we shouldn't really be in any danger. They have healing, but they don't have that much damage. And as long as the opponents don't have damage, we can always maintain our health with all the food we have going on. Like, the amount of food we have is very decent and powerful. Yeah, and the, they, they definitely do not scale. They, they don't do anything that scales, and they also don't do anything that is dangerous to us. So, as you see, my health is maxed out, and it will stay maxed out because we have four healing items. Uh, and also, the heat makes my healing items fire faster, so it definitely helps. We overtook them by 40 health. Very nice. And we found the second level of haste, so I just found my Falcon Blades already. Let's now switch these. Yeah, I got my Falcon Blade number unos. I also found a Gubert here, which I definitely want to combine with that. Uh, but not yeah. At this point, comments are no longer lucky enough to happen. So next turn, these two are going to combine, and then the Gubert fits. Because right now, the Gubert doesn't fit. Unless I throw away 20 max life. Do I want to throw away 20 max life for a Gubert? I would say, yeah. For one turn, I can sacrifice this. Because we might very easily lose this fight anyway. And then all this uh, maintaining the 20 max life and whatnot is going to go to the bin regardless. So we need to reorganize here for sure. Uh, let me reorganize in a moment. Okay, I guess that's going to be it. One can only hope for the best. One can only hope for the best. Let's sell the flame to reroll actually. Nice, I found another whetstone. Actually, I got by both my whetstones. And not only that, but I even found inventory space to fit them in. Okay, we're going full on transition mode. Full on, we're jumping ship as is. Oof, that was a mistake. I thought that I can buy the whetstone alongside the... Ah. Yep, mistake. Jumping ship did not actually happen. I, I cannot sell enough things to instantly buy the whetstone here. That was a mistake on my end, but it's okay. One can only hope for the best. Ah, this attack speed should also be over there now that I decided that it was a mistake. Uh, ooh, this is a double... Oof. Double axe build with a gubrit. Let's hope they're gonna run out of energy somehow. And the axe are not gonna destroy us. They just entered Enrage. I'm still full life. We should be winning this. If they get rid of the Enrage, we already know that we do more damage than them. Okay, they're no longer Enraged. Now Fatih kicks in, theoretically helping us more than them. Uh, they are scaling for sure, but we also scale heat-wise. And we won. Nice. Nice. And I got my subclasses. Now, obviously, we're gonna take over. So, we just got some combos going. Very nice. And here we go. Friendly Fire is the one choice. Burning Banner is another choice. I'm gonna go with Burning Banner. 25% chance to protect my buffs. And also, uh, we have a chance to blind the opponents. That's irrelevant. And every 3 seconds, remove 2 buffs from your opponent and gain 2 uh, regen. And that is the main aspect here. The fact that I'm gonna be gaining stuff. Let's, let's go here. Nice. I got another Hero Sword. Obviously, we're gonna buy another one of those Chili Peppos. And let's get another Gooberit. Nice. That's nice. And now the Falcon Blade's here, so let me realign all the attack speed with the Falcon Blade, as I need this thing to have the highest attack speed between all of the weapons we have. Let's go with a triple lined up weapon here, just like this. And then you go here, just like this. Very nice. And the banner is gonna go here. Now the Falcon Blade says, first of all, attacks twice, so that means it activates the Goobers twice, and everything that has to do with attacking and uh, activating effects is, is gonna have it twice the chance to roll. And also, every item around it has a 30% attack speed boost that counts the wooden sword and the burning banner, which is important. And uh, yeah, that's it pretty much. Now, I would like this to be here so it gets the crazy boost over the low boost it was getting otherwise. And uh, the rest, I think, is okay. I'm not really sure that the rest is okay. Yeah, I don't see how I can do it right now. Maybe next fight. Maybe next fight. I can definitely do something like this, but that's completely irrelevant right now. Yeah, next fight where I'm going to combine some things, I'm going to be able to switch them around. Uh, let's go. This is still connected perfectly to everything. This is in the perfect spot, to be honest. I think we're ready to go, yeah. I'm, I just need two more gloves of haste and one more gooberit. I think I had an option to get a gooberit previously, but I threw it away. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, now I should be gaining crazy uh, heat fast every time this thing attacks. The Falcon Blade every time it attacks. 
Uh, we still have energy issues, of course. We need one more banana, I would say. We have also crazy regen, and opponents don't have buffs. So that's also a big aspect here. This fires every 1.36 seconds. Look at this, 22 regen. Yeah, 26 regen. I'm not gonna lose life. You're dying. Very nice. So now I have my coverage. This here is coverage. Safety, so to speak. This here, the burning banner. Because now I get regen, and regen is super protective. I'm gonna go here. Uh, I will buy the anti-spikes. I don't want to deal with spikes ever again. You can go here, firing pretty fast. I want to buy this. Let's roll once. I right, nice. Max energy is important for us. Uh, this can go anywhere else. I think we're still good as to where the things are. That's not really, really true. But, but I do prefer these where they are. I could also push this one more down, and then bring something over there. And I think we're good as we are. Let's go. Let's go. I'm seeing the shield of valor, but it's irrelevant to me. Okay, this is a fatigue build uh, with nothing, honestly. Just a couple of cup of resiliences. Uh, we don't. We do remove debuffs with chili peppers, so we shouldn't really have debuffs issues. And we're also removing buffs with the burning banner, so we also should not have buffs issues. Yep, they're done. They're gone. They're gone. The build is a go now. The build is actually a go now. Now it actually starts working. I just want to find one more chili over it. Let's go you and you, and we're ready. Let's go next fight. Uh, now I definitely can reorganize the flames in there. Actually, pull on reorganize. Okay, much better. Now I got my max life rolling. They see me rolling. Uh, and roll them. No, not nothing of importance. Nice, good inventory space. And another banana, so we fix my energy issues. Which we still have, of course, to this day. Uh, this is every 4.5, this is every 3.9. Yeah, this is faster. This is also 3.7. Yeah, these two have the same attack speed. They all, both have 5 second cooldown. This has a... 0.83, and this has a 1.1 second. Ah, they're gone. They're gone. They're gone. Parati. Oh, they're still alive. Okay, they got a revive just now. It's Dark Lantern. Well, we have so much regen here. It doesn't matter what they're doing. And they're gone. Easy enough. I mean, we don't have infinite regen, but 36 is a decent amount enough. Very nice. Very nice. And we got a heart container. Of course, we're going to buy a heart container. If it's cheap and presented to us like that, obviously fits the build. I don't need to really explain further on that. Uh, we're still good as we are. Let's roll into Gloves of Face, hopefully. Find another one of these and another attack speed. Definitely yes and yes. Don't want the Blood Amulet? Not really. There isn't really that many, there aren't really that many things that I'm going to combine that with. You definitely should go over here so you get attack speed. And uh, let's go on. Let's go on. Buy the flame by the wind and sell it later. Oh, it's a wolf build. The wolf build in general is very powerful. So let's see how this goes. Plus a cheese goober it. Gaining random buffs. Well, they're not gonna get the random buffs, that's for sure. Uh, I got my max life through the hard container. I also get them power, which is important for us. And we got enough buffs here that they should no longer be... Oh, they're doing a lot of damage. 62. Nah, we got them. Easy enough. Easy enough. Where's my damage at? At 18 seconds, we're doing... Ah, 19 DPS. Still very low there. Can I please get... One more Guberticos. Uh, attack speed, I would say, goes on the heart container. And one more of these. Might as well burning torch them. I don't care about that. I don't care about this. I care about finding gloves of haste. None here. Inventory space. Gloves of haste go. Boom. Uh, no, gloves of haste. Boom. No, but found inventory space and found one flame. Might as well throw it in. Uh, this banana can go anywhere else, honestly, as it's not getting any boost whatsoever here where it is. So I guess it should go... Yeah, I don't know. Ah, even this little change gives us one more life. Even this little change. I think we're good to go. That's gone. I think with three bananas we're okay energy-wise. I might be wrong about that, but we're decent off. We do have enough attack speed here. I would like to find one more Gubert, though. That's the most important aspect right now. We do have energy issues. Ah, it's because of the Shield of Valor. Yeah, anybody who has a shield always produces energy issues for us. But it's okay, we have Might to Empower. We, we are, we, they are not even able to poison us. They cannot damage us. They are, they are a scaling magic torch build. But we have so much regen here. And so much heat. They, they are not going to be able to do anything anymore. It's over. We won. Very nice. How much attack does this have? 0 0.95. Okay, nice. 69 uh, life at the end and 100 heat. Let's actually look at the damage we did. 14 DPS and the healing we also did. Yeah, 16 healing. And they were they didn't even have that enough DPS to do anything against. Oh, they had a lot of vampirism though. Which we took away anyway, so... Yeah, I mean the banner is busted, man. Takes away buffs from the opponents, gives us buffs. 
This, I didn't, I wasn't even aware that that was not gonna burn if there wasn't a banner there. Oh, another chili pepper and also more inventory space. I'm gonna buy the chili pepper, obviously. And inventory space comes next. I don't really care about the Wolven Tiger. We do have energy issues, but triple banana is enough, I would say. If not, I'm gonna buy another banana. I don't really care about the Wolven Tiger. I need things to fire fast. Although the banana fits. Also, ah, Wolven Tiger really fits. Gives us vampirism, gives us spikes, gives us buffs that we care about. Gives us some power. Anyway, we're dying right now, but the region's gonna take off in a moment. We're getting hit here, but it's okay. Yep. Ah, we're gonna survive. We're gonna survive. We got this. We got this. Oh, they crit us heavily. Oh, they crit us very heavily. Oh, we're dying. Oh, we died. Were they scaling? I think they scaled. Something happened there. Yeah, they scaled with the gin lamp. Yeah, they had 50 shielding. The gin lamp actually scaled their fortune's grace. That's why we died. And then those obviously double crit. Look at how many buffs they have. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were not surviving that. <laughs> Fair enough. Needed a little bit more to survive, but we didn't have it. 400 damage there. We did very low damage because they had a double shield, of course, of course. Double shield completely and utterly destroys us and counters us. We go here and here. And more inventory space. I still refuse to buy shields. More regen and more inventory space. I would say yes to those. Uh, I'm not finding the gloves, by the way. Uh, I guess you can go here. Is there a banana goobert? I don't think a banana goobert is a thing. Uh, actually, no, no, I should reorganize completely and put it over to the other side so that both of these... Yeah, we need to full-on reorganize. Okay, I think we're ready. Yeah, we're ready. Let's go. And one can only hope... I'm not finding my second falcon blade, by the way. But it's okay, we're gonna get my second silly chili goobert, which is gonna make a big difference here. Uh, they are a revive build with uh, a lot of debuffs ready to get applied on us. But uh, now, as long as I get my region up and running, we should no longer be in any danger whatsoever. I'm also taking away buffs from them. So we definitely have the upper hand here. Debuffs incoming, boom. Uh, I, I will get rid of these with the chilies I have, because chilies slowly get rid of debuffs. Yeah, got rid of all the blind, which is the important one. I'm still having regen there. Nice, nice, nice. Easy enough. Let's add a cooldown off. Uh, what's the cooldown of this thing? One second flat. This had 0 0.66. I do have energy issues here and there. It's okay, it's okay. 500 damage with Falcon Blade and a little bit with Hero Sword. Very nice. Let's go on. Next fight. I found the cheap Wolpen Tiger. I mean, cheap Wolpen Tiger, I would say, is a yes. Expensive one is a no. Cheap is a yes. Let's buy... Uh, throw this in wherever. Doesn't mean, this is a pet, by the way. This has a three second, 5 second cooldown. Now, 5 is very slow. I think about throwing it in here in the bottom because as I said this is a pet so boom pets buff is what I was thinking uh, on the other hand I'm also thinking uh, if the pet could be touching the falcon blade for the 3% faster triggering this is 15% faster triggering which is almost the same but I think we're good roll once uh, yes on this let's go there and let's run definitely by another one of the regents Another Dark Lantern build. Why is everybody playing Dark Lantern? Is it that good? Now I do have a better energy gain, by the way. Also, I'm gonna get Vampirism in this minute. Yeah, we're now only gain we are also gaining Vampirism now, and we gain heat a lot faster than what we used to. My energy is 100% maxed out. They're gonna die here. That was a Phoenix revive. Uh, I'm starting to heal more and more, and they're gone. I started to heal more and more because of the region, of course, and I also had Vampirism now. So I have even more healing and Empower, of course, helps us. And energy in general is good. Falcon Blade did less damage again. Did they have a shield? Block was on 10. Healing was on Chili Goobert. Healing and Regeneration and Vampirism 60 healing. Nice. Uh, we have a lot of healing. They did not have a uh, shield. Shields are going to be our downfall. Three more fights to go. Uh, one more of these. This definitely fits. We have a lot of inventory space here. Uh, yeah, I mean, it fits here and then push these up. Actually, push these up, it doesn't really happen. It actually fits down there, yeah. Let's go boom, and I like that. Wait. Yeah, I, I have to buy this. I, I'm thinking about first buying the heart. Does the heart even fit anywhere? I guess it can go here. We lose a bit more max life, but we also gain more max life. Uh, by the way, I can I can create a burning blade, and I think that's the play now because I'm not seeing us get a hero. Yeah, we're not getting the hero sword in time, so let's just get a burning blade, burning blade, like this. Boom! We're gonna go burning sword because I'm not I'm straight up not finding the other thing. Uh, you go here and you go here, 
And I would say, uh, let's go. Yeah, this definitely fits down there. Yeah, we're good. Let's go. Uh, you know what? I could also go for Draconic Orb and throw away the Burning Coals. Uh, for what am I talking about? Box of Riches. Not nah, too late. I couldn't have gone with Box of Riches for the Ice build or the Poison build or any other aspect. Even the healing, to be honest. Although we have healing through the Gubrits. This is a stun build. I saw us getting stunned. No, it's just the Brass Knuckles, as always. We do get enough buffs here that we should contract whatever they're doing. We're gonna start getting critted in a moment, but we have so much regen right now. They're not doing enough to us. We win. We also have five Vamprisms, so we're also healing like crazy. Nice. A hundred heat, by the way. A hundred heat is what we gained. Without being the heat build, by the way. 420 damage, here's worth a bit. These also do... A hundred heat is extremely important, because now I'm gonna get the Burning Blade. Which I should have gone for a lot earlier. This has 0 0.9 second activation. They didn't even have buffs, man. They didn't even have buffs. And boom. This this here, the Burning Sword, says 40% 40, 40 chance to gain one heat. It's okay. This used to be 60, by the way. And every 5 heat gained, which I just was up to 100, gives plus 1 damage to this weapon and the next one. So both of these will get damage. So if I get 50 heat, that's plus 10 damage on the Falcon Blade. If I get 100 heat, that's plus 20 damage on the Falcon Blade. So it's pretty sizable. The, the boost we gain out of that is pretty sizable. Uh, everything's nice. Let's roll into... What am I missing? I guess I could go with a Divine Potion as a pocket save. 20 debuffs, remove 10 of them. That's a pocket save if I ever had one. Uh, I could also go Stone Skin Potion. Ah, let's roll. Nice. That's max energy. This... I mean, come on. This has to fit somewhere. I know where it fits. It fits right here. Boom, boom, boom. Easy enough. Easy enough. And I even make sound effects. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, let's uh, go. Uh, let's go. I think we're pretty good as we are. Oh, stop, stop. This goober does not min-max. For how long has this goober not been min-maxed? Oof. Very oof moment right there. It's okay, though. Let's go. Now it is min-maxed. And... And I have a pocket, anti-poison, anti-whatever. Okay, so they have a double shield. Uh, they're never gonna hit 20 luck if I'm fast enough here. Nope, they hit 20 luck, we're gonna lose. The burning banner did not get the buffs away in time. And eh, we'll lose here. They have a double shield, we're completely countered. This was so close to not losing, and then we lost. This uh, removing of two debuffs. If that happened a bit earlier and we took away their luck, we had that. What was generating luck for them is the main question. Oh, they had two flutes. So the two flutes had to high roll. Of course, they had a Tim too. And that's gone. <laughs> Found the glove of haste. A bit too late, of course. Uh, we will buy it regardless. You go here. That's holy. Oh, that's holy. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, do I need mana? I mean, I could generate mana. I can just put it right here. And it's gonna generate. Do I need this? Will I get the 3D buffs to get 12 all around the buffs? I mean, I am attacking fast enough for this thing to fire often enough to maybe give us enough buffs. But I don't think it's worth it. I would prefer just another chili or e even just a vampirism straight up. This is the final fight. I'm just gonna buy a straight up vampirism. I don't have any more money for anything. Chili is here and also a cheap Wolpen Tiger is here. I could buy one of these two for five flames, of course. Uh, let's go four flames or five flames. I would say five flames... Or the Wolpen Tiger. It seems better to me than four flames for the chili. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. And you go you go here. And now both of those get a boost. Because they are each pets. So that's 15% each. And then another 15% from Chili Goober. That's a 30% boost on those. So they should be pretty fast-ish. And we give attack speed to the banana alongside the burning blade. We should not have energy issues. Let's see. Let's see if we can win the final fight. Okay, this is a god build, of course. This is the cheese build. Not 100% min-maxed. Not 100% min-maxed. Also, they have spikes going on for them, but we have, theoretically, the Draconic Orb taken away. Ah, I'm not seeing it that crazy. Yeah, they have too many spikes. <laughs> uh, but we're still taking away a lot of them. I also have a lot of Empower, so we do a lot of damage. This thing is 16 to 20. This is 90 to 20. Oh, look at this fight, man. It's the buff madness. I have 60 heat, though, and they don't. Yep, they're just empowered. Okay, I'm full life, by the way. They haven't even touched us yet. They're still going for more max life. I hope they were gonna get a thousand max life and not die. Please survive, man. Please survive. Because I will definitely survive with my 124 heat. We won. We destroyed. Look at the buffs they have. But look at the buffs we have. 
we won 132 heat. Uh, I would have really enjoyed it if they survived more. Also, the Draconic Orb was taken away the spikes one at a time and still did nothing. This was taken at one spike away every 0 0.87 and they still had 20 spikes. You just imagine. This could have been a legendary fight. If instead of having one garlic here and one banana here, they had two more cheese. If they had two more cheese, I think that would have been the difference maker. The rest is obviously min-maxed there. Um, no, and one more banana here is not needed. So they uh, one, two, three items. If all three of those were cheese, I think this would have been a god fight. They also had a shield of valor. Everybody's playing with shield of valor, man. Everybody's playing with shield of valor. They want to counter any weapon build, as everybody is playing weapon builds anyway. Uh, but who cares? I don't care. We're fighting those head to head. Look at this. Falcon Blade did 894 damage, the highest damage I ever did, and 458 the Burning Sword. I should have gotten the Burning Sword a lot earlier, but I was trying to get the double Falcon Blade build going. 900 damage with spikes. The main damage they did to us was the spikes. If they didn't have the spikes, this fight could have lasted forever. I could have obviously gotten rid of the spikes if I had, I would say, two more Draconic Orbs would have gotten rid of every single spike they had. Can I see how many spikes the Draconic Orb took away? From Heat, I can see that. From Heat, Draconic Orb, 13 spikes. Uh, draconic Orb gives you one heat every time it takes the spikes away. If you see there, remove one spike to gain one heat per spike removed. So, uh, 13 spikes. If I had one more Draconic Orb, they would have only had left with 7 spikes there. And if I had two more Draconic Orbs, they would not have spikes at all. So, that was nice. Chili Goobert gave us 32 and 32 heat. Healing. Yeah, 546 with Vampirism. And you know where I found the Vampirism from the Goobert. It's the Wolden Tigress. So, if it wasn't for the Wolden Tigress, we might have even died. I mean, it's not really possible to see overheal. Uh, yeah, I would have said with 500 less health because this is the overheal. This is the heal that got wasted. This is the heal that got used. So if I didn't have that 500 healing, we would have had 40 life right now. Uh, which isn't true because once again, overheal would have covered that distance. But still, Shigur Gubert's also healed us a lot and Regent healed us a lot. And Chili Peppers went a bit less. I mean, I think Chili Gubert's are very, very, very powerful. And Gubert's in general are powerful if you have Falcon Blades. Falcon Blades are the Chili item. Look at this, man. It had 85 DPS. 41 to 42 damage because of the Burning Sword, which had 38 to 40 damage. Yep, this combo was nice. Should have tried to make this into Burning Blade. Like a Falcon Blade. No, I wanted... I mean, let's be honest. I want a double Falcon Blade build. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. And see you guys around.